$1300 Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Humayo Zeb Abbasi. First, the headline. Prime Minister says the government has stirred the country out of difficult times and now it will witness sustainable growth and development. Foreign Minister says Pakistan is focusing on economic diplomacy to address challenges of poverty, inflation and unemployment. Interior Minister has said 88% work on border fencing with Afghanistan has been completed. Pakistan Cricket Board has announced the squads for the upcoming tours of England and West Indies. And now the news in details. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said the government has stirred the country out of difficult times and now it will witness sustainable growth and development. He was addressing our ceremony after performing the groundbreaking of upgradation and rehabilitation of 62 kilometers long Lodhra Multan Highway in Islamabad today. The project will be completed at a cost 6.886 billion rupees in two years' time. The Prime Minister said there will be now wealth generation and people will get job opportunities on the economic front. He said the people will continue to hear good news. Imran Khan said the country registered a growth of 4% this financial year despite COVID-19 challenge. He said we not only saved our people from the pandemic but also the economy. Former Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has said Pakistan desires peace and stability in the region. In a statement today, he said Pakistan has played positive and constructive role in the Afghan peace process, but the irresponsible statements of Afghan security advisor are really regrettable, which only serve the interests of spoiler. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said he has invited his Afghan counterpart to visit Pakistan in order to hold discussion on the Afghan peace process and the future strategy. He said Pakistan is focusing on economic diplomacy to address the challenges of poverty, inflation and unemployment. Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid is paying a two-day visit to Waziristan from today. In a video message, he said efforts are being made for better border management. He said the border fencing with Afghanistan will complete in two months' time. 88% work on the fencing has been completed. Sheikh Rashid said the border fencing with Iran will also be completed by the end of this year. Sheikh Rashid said that 100 and 50 Mobile Eagle Squad will be attached with Safe City Project to make Islamabad safe zone. 160,000 Pakistanis from over 170 countries have so far invested $1.25 billion in Roshan digital accounts. This was stated during a webinar arranged by Habib Bank Limited in collaboration with State Bank of Pakistan and Pakistan High Commission Canada. It was informed that Roshan digital accounts have emerged as a dependable, secure and profitable banking solution and mode of investment for overseas Pakistanis. The closing ceremony of Pakistan-Egypt Joint Air Defense Excise Sky Guards uh, was held in Cairo today. Troops of Pakistan Army Air Defense, Pakistan Air Force and Egyptian Air Defense forces participated in the first ever exercise of this kind. The two weeks long exercise focused on integration, synchronization information gathering, uh, interoperability and decision making of committing the air defense assets in a battle to offer an aggressive and prompt response to hostile air theater. Commander Army Air Defense Commander, Command, Lieutenant General Hamoud Zaman, who was the chief guest on the occasion, lauded the professionalism of participating troops and emphasized the need to oppress with emerging trends and techniques. The United Nations Security Council has called on Houthi rebels to allow inspectors to visit a long abandoned fuel tanker of Yemen without uh, further delay. This 15 member council had a special meeting in New York of uh, FFSO Safer at the request of Britain after the rebels set an agreement to allow the UN mission had reached a dead end. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, troops in their uh, unabated acts of state terrorism have martyred 904 children during the last 32 years. This was stated in a report released by the research section of Kashmir Media Services on the occasion of the International Day of Innocent Children Victims of Aggression. Pakistan Cricket Board has announced the squads for the upcoming tours of England and West Indies. Pakistan will play three ODIs and as many T20s in England from 8th to 20th July before leaving to West Indies to play five T20s and two test matches. And that is the end of the news.
For more news and analysis, you can log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch our live streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.